Arsenal Fan TV, Chris, um, that was much more like it. Um, they seem to carry through the momentum from the weekend. Obviously, you could see a bit of more confidence in them. So, you know, that, that was a big win. Yeah, it was very much a case of job done tonight. I mean, we made heavy weather of beating Hull, who are a reserve team from the Championship over two games. We got there eventually and we did it convincingly in the end. They didn't want to be here. The manager and the team and the fans from Hull didn't want to play. So it was just job done, nothing more, nothing less. How can they not want to be here? What's the matter with them? They want to go for promotion. If this was 10 years ago before they went in the Premiership, this would have been a massive cup final for them. But, yeah, but what about momentum? Anyway, I don't care about yeah, him anyway. About for him? us, yeah. it's good. It's yeah, momentum, no, it's isn't it? And we haven't won in five games. And so tonight was massive just to get our momentum back. And we're up in the most congested period of the season now. We're playing once every three days. We needed some sort of confidence boost. But I'm really happy that Drew and Theo both scored a couple of goals tonight mm. because I mentioned to you last week, uh, four of our most streaky players in the whole squad haven't been scoring for like 10 games and all four of them now scored. Drew, mm. Walcott, Ramsey and Sanchez. So given that we've got so many games, you know, that's mm. important. And the defence did well tonight as well, given how many players we came off. Yeah. I thought Steve Bold was going to come off the bench. <laughs> in there. But um, Ospina made a vital save when it was 0-0. Yeah. That shouldn't be forgotten. But... You know, I really want to win this FA Cup this season. It's probably our best chance for a trophy. It's just that, you know, if we're going mm. by the odds. I still think we've got a massive chance in the league. I, I'm not writing that off at all. But mm. the FA Cup has been good for us the last few years. And we're under a duty to win it. This is the Emirates FA Cup. Our name is on the cup. We, <laughs> they've been giving us a home draw in every round. And, you know, I think it would be amazing if we did win it three in a row. And I'm mm. getting used to trophy parades around Islington now. I want another one. <laughs> and j just uh, to, uh, a final note to round off. And I was wondering during the game, like, when was the last time we lost to a team outside the Premiership and the FA Cup away from home and it's it's been 20 years, uh, 1996 against Sheffield United. Never, Keep those never, stats for that quiz No, tomorrow. I was going to say, I, I want to get that in before the quiz tomorrow, but never under Arsene Wenger have we lost an away game to a, a non-Premier League team. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Brilliant. Let's leave it. And at the end of the day, we could, we could have lost 4-0 today, brought it out and everyone would say, you're overreacting. So it's okay, we can't win. But the fact is, this is not because of a couple of bad results. This is not because we lost to Man United, because we lost to Swansea. It's a combination of years and years and years of lies uh, and, and everything that they bought from the board to the manager. Arsene Wenger's not solely responsible.